Hello YouTube, uh, just showing you my uh, new, new purchase uh, of my 1873 Spring, Springfield trap door uh, in 4570. Um, just picked it up two days ago and uh, wasn't too familiar with these guns to begin with, but I started watching a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, Dakota 49, he's probably the most helpful as far as information on safety of its shooting, um, the quality of the gun, and he really knows them inside and out. Uh, I think I picked up a pretty nice one. Like I said, I got it at a great price, as to what I think is a great price, from looking on the internet and seeing what they go for. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. It doesn't look like it was ever broken apart since there's no splintering over by the hammer mechanism here. Um, no splintering. It's in pretty good shape. Doesn't look like anybody tried to pry that plate out. Um, everything functions. I have the sight, flip up sight here. Um, I know there's another technical name for it, but it's in excellent shape. Uh, there's really no major pitting or any pitting at all, as from what I can see. Um, other gun owners that have these guns from the black powder which is pretty corrosive, um, claim that they have pitting on the upper stock here and then out toward the end, which is pretty clean, a little rusty, but it's uh, minimal pitting as far as I see it. Um, it's really not a problem. It just looks like more wear and tear, maybe hitting walls and being leaned up against walls and trees and, and such. The ramrod is here, fully functional. Uh, you got to pull down slightly, and there's a little, I guess, a ring type thing that holds it in. It's a spring, and it slips right out very easily. I got the sling rings here, um, and like I said, I'm sorry for the lighting, but uh, it's really didn't set it up for good lighting. But everything seems to be in good working order. Um, I'm going to watch more of the Coda 49's videos because uh, these 4570s are not, he's, he says that the jacketed bullets are probably a different bore diameter. So, uh, I mean, that's way over my head. I'm going to actually send it out to a local, uh, very reputable uh, gunsmith where I am and have him look over the gun. Um, I know, pull back. And you open the trap door, it's open. It's a little grimy, but nothing big. I mean, everything seems to be working really well. A little bit of a shimmy with the door open, which is not a good sign. But when it's closed, it's solid. Very solid. No shake, no shimmy. Of course, when the hammer is in there against the uh, firing pin, there's, <laughs> it's, it's solid like a rock. But um, <laughs> anybody have any uh, information on these? Um, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, I'd love somebody to actually see the condition of this gun and let me know what they think. Um, you know, if the Code of 49 runs past this video, I'd love to see what he thinks of this, this gun. And uh, like I said, I think I did good. And uh, the other side is just as good. You got the serial number up here. Um, then there's the another medallion there. I don't know. And again, it's a beautiful gun. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I'm even thinking of getting a second. <laughs> okay, thank you.